This video is gonna be so different. Architectural issue. I wanna talk about why I can't go. Fall shopping, decorating for fall, shopping for home decor, browsing Hobby Lobby, um, going to CB2, going to living spaces, doing all the fun home decor shopping. I just can't get behind it. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. So when we purchased this home, it was very dark. It was um, like a brownish gray. Um, there were a lot of things I didn't like about it. So I freshened up, freshened it up with paint. It has great bones, but I don't like buying a lot of things and having a lot of clutter. And I feel everything that's missing in my home, it's an architecture, architectural issue. It's not my shelves don't have enough decor or my bed or my couch or my dining table or my credenza. It's really like the architectural things. It's the cheap, dark brown laminate flooring, which I hate. I hate how when the laminate floor meets the quartz floor, they put like a little they left the gap and put this ugly strip, which is so passe, it is so ugly. Lighter strip rather than just having the two levels meet seamlessly. So it's the floor. So when I look at my sunken living room, I like how it's modern, it's Kelly Wurstler inspired, but the things that bother me about it have to do with the hardscapes, the finishes, like the flooring. So there's nothing that I can do that I haven't already done to zhuzh up the sunken living room. It's just about changing the floor. That's what I don't like. Same with the dining room. Yeah, I could maybe use a new dining room table, but for the most part, I like the styling, I like the minimal decor, I like my new credenza that's purchased from like reclaim, it's a reclaimed piece. I like the pink color. It's the floor, the dark brown laminate floor. I just can't get behind. Same when I go into the kitchen. There's no like pots or pans or dishcloths or ceramic bowls that will really make me happy. It's all about changing the cabinetry and changing the countertops. So we started to change the cabinets, but we never finished because we got this new miter saw, which is gonna make the job a lot easier. So we're thinking we may have to just start from scratch again. And then getting the right color stain, this stain's a little orangish. So I think next time I'll do something that has a natural stain with just a pinch of gray colorant to cut the orange. So. There's no like decorating things that I could do to make me feel happier about the kitchen. It really needs to have new cabinetry and new countertops and new backsplash. You know, so I should be saving for those things instead of splurging on little knickknacks and stuff. You know, even though I love the vessels, the vases, all the decor that they have at those stores, I feel like I already have those items. Anything that needs to be changed, updated and refreshed has to do with the hardscapes. Same with the playroom. You know, the fireplace is okay. I painted it that matte black, but it's just the floor. The dark laminate floor needs to go. Um, another space, like my bathroom. So it had penny tile in the bathroom. I updated the cabinets. I did new granite countertops. I got the old um, 19th century hutch in there. But the penny tile, it needs to go. It needs to have a different type of floor because I tried to match the colors of the penny tile. So there's this weird place where you can see a line of demarcation between the two colors. And then there's this weird dip in the penny towel to where the water always pools. The dip should be around the drain, but there's actually another dip underneath the ledge where the water always drains and I have to like swoosh it and make sure it doesn't get like mold and stuff. So that's super irritating. So I need to completely bust out the penny towel floor. My husband, he's like, oh no, the, the floor is fine. You don't need to change a thing. But no, the floor needs to be replaced. So in terms of the bathroom, I already did a lot of the cosmetic upgrades that I can do. It's tiny towel needs to come up, tiny towel needs to go. Other spaces, the downstairs bathroom. Like I could buy, you know, like artificial flowers or dried flowers or real flowers or vases or like soap dispensers. I could do all those little cosmetic things, but it really comes down to the cabinetry. I need to replace the cabinetry because it's, it's got to go. I don't even like the cabinetry tops but I could kind of live with the black and white granite it's like salt and pepper granite I could live with that um, I had the same granite up up here and I had I replaced it because I didn't like it I can live with the downstairs as long as I had some nice cabinetry underneath it I could kind of stand behind it 
but you can't really replace the cabinetry without removing the granite. So what I have to do is re repaint and reface the cabinets, replace the old dated cabinet fronts with some that my husband make and just paint it a color and then paint the walls a coordinating color. So I could do that. But so you see how me going shopping at Target or Home Goods or doing any of those things won't really give me the look, the cohesive like look that I'm going for because it's the hardscapes that need to be changed. Another area of concern is the backyard. Like even though I want to buy patio furniture, I want to save like a thousand dollars to buy it, something with an umbrella, um, a dining table, a chaise lounge. I really want that for the backyard. But if you take a close look at the backyard, the pool, the cement around the pool is like cracked. That needs to be fixed. We need like a full backyard. I know having a pool adds like 50K on top to the value of your home. So my, my lot is only about, it's a quarter acre. It's not that big, but it's not small. So in order to refresh the backyard, I have to spend like 30,000 at least to fix it. I'm browsing these catalogs, looking for um, patio furniture and stuff. And I want to add ivy to the back fence, but it's like, if I were to add ivy to the back fence, then it makes me look at the, the deck. Like I need to replace the deck. The wood is like old and crusty. I want it to be black. I want to replace the rail. So it's like me purchasing plants or a patio table or patio chairs won't give me the end look I want because I really need to work on the hardscape around the pool and get that not to look crusty and fix the two patios. Are those called decks or patios? I guess they're called decks. I need to replace the two decks. The backyard will never look good until I replace the two decks. The last thing that I need to do, I hate the stairs. Like I love the way my house looks. Like the steel, the ceilings are like 30 feet high. I mean, it makes, having tall ceilings makes such a difference. My bedroom has tall ceilings too, like vaulted ceilings, but having tall ceilings makes such a difference in your home. You just get this sense of grandeur. As soon as you open the doors, like, you love it because it's so tall. It makes the home seem bigger than it is. Even though my house is huge, it's over 4,000 square feet, but it's like 4,300 square feet. But the fact that the ceilings are tall, it just makes it so refreshing when I open the front door. But the stairs, I painted the spindles black to try to help, but the spindles need to come down and the footing on the stairs need to be replaced. So I don't know if I need a total stair makeover or what. I was thinking of removing the, sp the spindles and just putting glass panels to kind of modernize it. But then I don't really like the lip that's there around the spindles, you know? So, and then we need to replace the uh, flooring of the stairs because we bought it, they were falling apart. That was one of the things we tried to barter with, but they weren't budging. So I need to fix the stairs. So um, those are just, this is just me trying to explain to you how, even though when I go shopping for furniture in the back of my mind, or furniture and decor, the back of my mind is like, no, Lena, you need to replace and fix the architectural elements, the hardscapes. You know, nothing's gonna be right until you fix those. Same with the front door. I did a little exterior makeover. I painted the garage door black, the front door black, replaced the hardware and made such a difference. But when you look down, you see the old pavers. The pavers need to come up. So that's something else that needs to be done. It's not about the wreaths I put on the door. It's not about even really the color I put on the door. It's the hardscapes that need to be replaced. So right now I'm thinking, do I wanna do a diamond pattern? but I want the diamond pattern to be on a diagonal and how we're gonna do that. Do we use a laser level? So these are a lot of things that I wanna work on, home projects around my house. And I'm sure you guys can understand. Sound off in the comments if you're like me, where you wanna buy, you wanna go shopping, you wanna buy things, but you know deep down, you need to look at the hardscapes. Anyways, I just wanted to vent, I just wanted to rant, I just wanna explain where my head's at right now. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And hopefully on the next video, we'll tackle one of these hardscape projects. Oh wait guys, before we end the video, I forgot I want to show you this really quick DIY. Okay, remember I was showing you guys these? Well, what I did was, every time this bathroom door was opening, it was slamming and making marks. And I had tried to put a door stopper and it kept coming out. So basically I just took two felt pads. I put two of them, but one of them would have worked. They have stickers on it. So now when the door closes, it just hits that, see? So that's what you can do. You can get these from the Dollar Tree and protect 
your your walls. Okay, so we're gonna go into the garage and I'm gonna show you, it's a hot mess, but, so this is all the painting supplies that need to be organized. Only problem is those are so tall, everything up there, but I need to, these are all the new supplies from the Dollar Tree. I need to put them up there somehow, but the project that I wanna work on, look, my woodworking area is a complete mess. It gets the job done, but it's a mess. Um, but I would like to do cover the stools. Rather than purchase new stools right now, I think we are going to go through our leathers. And I got an electric staple gun, so let's see what we have. Okay, just look at it. Now this is pretty, right? I think we're gonna use this. Okay, so I purchased these off Facebook Marketplace. It was a big mistake because, of course, my kids, they wipe their hands on it. It's like a micro suede, a fake suede. Looks dingy. So I have plenty of this. This is left over from when I was making custom planners. I still do, but this one really was never popular and it's really nice, really beautiful. So I figure we're gonna unscrew this base and I'm just gonna staple it and we'll have a new bar stool. We'll have a new pair of bar, bar stools until I figure out which ones I wanna purchase later. Okay, so the original maker of these, they have all these seams. We're gonna try to make ours seamless. So. In doing so, there's going to be some folds that aren't as pretty as I'd like them to be, but in order to have it in one piece and curve around the base, etc., there's going to be a little bit of creasing. So let's just staple it and see what happens. Okay, so this is the easy part. I've gotten this part done. You know, it's, whoa. Good thing about leather is it stretches. So I gotta make sure that I leave enough give. Don't make it too tight. I'm just gonna continue around the edges. The next step is to just nail this back like it was.